thank you for joining us this brand new Monday on NC Trends. Now stay tuned to find out the top stories trending today on social media and the candid views of social media users. I am Shion Bankali. The Nigerian Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, says it does not know what has become of the video camera it found at the Lekito Gate in the wake of the NSAS protest in October 2020. Fashola, who was in the delegation of ministers, legislators and state governors, took to carefully pick up the camcorder with a piece of cloth from the half-burnt Lekito Gate and handed the camera to an official, a discovery which sparked plenty of reactions on social media. Now, that footage of Fashola snooping around the scene became meme materials for weeks. Now, in a recent interview, when asked what has become of the camera, Fashola said, and I quote, You should not be asking me. You have the tapes showing that I handed it over to the government of Lagos, so you have all the recordings. Don't ask me what happened to the camera. I don't know. End of quote. While this response has woken up Nigerian sweeps online, here are a few of their comments. Nelly Agu says, The camera grew wings just as it flew down to where you are to where you were as James Bond picked it. Well done, actor. Hashtag Fashola. Here's another comment from Olisa Osega. She says, this guy was once tipped for president by a lot of people back then. That was high, how highly rated he was. Whew. Whatever happened to Fashola, though? Okay, another comment from at Softboy B. The people that were here when he picked up this camcorder would have had the best live show of their lives. All right, we move now to Ghana where journalist Albert, a young online reporter with username at Bongo Ideas, has been trending for some hours now. In a funny twist of events, the highly opinionated blogger found himself in a big mess after he appeared on GH1 TV's audition for the next TV star. Well, Ghanaian media personalities Nana Abba, Sewa Amie, and Bridget Otto were the judges during the audition, and it turned out that the journalist Albert had insulted them on social media in the past. So Nana Abba asked him to be bold enough and say to their faces all that he had been posting on Twitter, but he was reluctant, and he also refused to apologize, and he was eventually asked to walk out. There have been lots of reactions to the now trending audition video. Ghanaian celebrities are waiting on the issue, and the blogger himself has come out to narrate all of what transpired, earning him even more bashing online. Here are some of the posts. NBA says, I'm sorry you went through all that, but then again, what were you expecting? How you're feeling now is how the numerous people you've bullied on this app have felt at some point after reading your tweets. All right. This one says, nobody supports cyberbullying, but tell me if none of these three ladies who bullied this guy with their inland power, mainly in Accra, have never cyberbullied anyone on social media before. None of these ladies have any moral rights to act like they are far from cyber bullying. All righty. Queenie says, but how can your normal self rush to a program organized by people you have been insulting on social media all this while? Did you not have some conscience? Learn to be kind with your words on social media. A lesson for everybody right there. You did not feel how for what you made them feel when you insulted them. Now, finally, in Ethiopia, East Africa, the hashtag disarm terrorists is trending alongside the hashtag no more. This comes after a Twitter campaign asking the world to listen to the words of the hundreds of women who have been violently raped by TPLF forces was launched on Twitter earlier on Monday. The Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, has since been des designated by Ethiopian government as a terrorist group, and now citizens are calling on the international community to bring an end to the menace that is TPLF. See some comments now. Mesky one, I have children and I was scared that the TPLF fighters might kill my daughter. I said, don't kill my children, do whatever you want to me. The youngest was asleep, but the older was awake and saw what happened. At Amnesty, children are traumatized. Hashtag disarm terrorists. Here's another comment from Joa Bajo. Three of them raped me while my children were crying at Amnesty. This is a testimony of TPLF gang rape victim among hundreds in Amhara. When Twitter is silencing pro-Ethiopians, it is also silencing victims. Victims are really suffering. Hashtag no more. Hashtag silence disarm terrorists. Now, Shaga Life says, just in nine days, TPLF terrorists committed despicable acts that amount to war crimes and potential crimes against humanity. One can only imagine how much atrocities they commit in areas that they control for a longer period. Condemned sexual violence by TPLF. Hashtag disarm TPLF. Now, thank you so much for joining us on
Today, that's all I have got for you. Don't forget to follow us across social media at New Central TV. I am Shion Bankari.